right so today we're going to be doing something less creative i would say a little bit more boring or practical that's the word i was going to use and what we're going to be doing is comparing a type form with a form that is type form style but is much better more affordable and you can use the free version for practically a lot of things for free compared to type form anyway so this form is called quill uh, if i'm pronouncing this wrong i am sorry but i think it's pretty cool i have discovered we are working on a client project and i thought to share it with you but let's get started all right so the first thing we are going to be doing is we're going to be adding our plugin so let's go to add new plugin and let's look for quill form quill form it's actually forms but yeah all right so this is how it's going to be looking uh, you will have to install it i already have it obviously installed you will have to install install it activate it and it will show you that is active all right so i'm going to go now to my form quilt forms and i am going to go to all forms and as you can see this is uh the back end of the quilt forms dashboard this is where you're going to see all your forms and you can from here add a new one or you have um, quite a few add-ons that you can add to your form obviously all this and I think yeah probably a hundred percent of this are going to be included uh, in the paid version of quill forms let's see yes you have to upgrade to basic but we can do a lot of things with the free version so uh, as you can see i already have one form here created but we are going to be creating a new one so let's add a new form so you have the, the option to choose a template or start from scratch as you can see you you have a few templates that are free but also pro for which you obviously you have to pay but for example i don't know you can create your own trivia quiz for free you can make it yourself it's not difficult at all and you will see what i mean by that and yeah obviously you pay for convenience if you're in a rush you can pay for this this is just an example anyway okay let's go and we're going to start from scratch so i'm gonna call it video form the name doesn't matter for me for you it is up to you and we are ready to create our form but I would suggest that you go to create a theme and a theme is basically the colors the color scheme the palette of your form and as you can see i already have one here and i'm not going to create a new one i'm going to be using this one but let's go through everything that this has to offer and let's discuss so the theme title you can give it whatever you want make it as good descriptive as possible because if you you can add more than one theme obviously and it's good to know which theme is which so that's why i'm saying that to, to give this a uh, description descriptive name you can add your background and logo uh, you can add a solid color or gradient you can upload a background color a uh, background image if you want you can even add a logo to your background so basically um you will see and i'll explain probably if i don't forget uh let's see say this is the background of your form obviously and you have your questions here blah blah, blah and your logo will appear somewhere here and if you have a background image it's going to obviously take the background of your form um font families now i have this selected here input myself obviously and they don't have too many they do have enough for you to choose from but you can also add custom fonts and i think yes this is a upgrade a feature for um, the paid version of the forms but honestly you have so many options uh, when it comes to font families for free all right so now the colors this is pretty much how your form is going to look from as i said question color answer color um button font color and so on and so on and so on and these are easily customizable so let's say progress bar 
Now let's just say something very simple, the question color. So as you can see, uh, you can insert this in RGB as HSL and hex. If you want, you can input it yourself here or just go through the color wheel. And of course, you can adjust all these fonts here mm, uh, as well as for desktop and mobile. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go through all this and make it your own. I'm not going to waste too much time, but as I said, and have you, you've seen that is pretty easy to do. All right, so we are ready to add our form. So let's go to uh, our theme and um, yeah, I don't think that's working. Let's let's add first our um, first question and see up. Oh, it's working. OK, so in order to activate the theme, basically click click on it and go and create your uh, form or start creating your form. So uh, let's say what services are you, oh my God, interested in. Okay, so let's add our uh, choices, options. So let's go to controls here. And as you can see, you have quite a few options. And I am going to, to turn the required uh, tab on because I want this to be filled in and it's a requirement. So the lid will not be able to go further down the form unless they complete this uh, very important step. Uh, as you can see, we have a few layout options here and I'm going to go with this one. Or I could keep it as simple as this. This is not really important at this point. You can play around and see what looks good. So let's say web design. Add another one. Branding. And another one. All the above. And voila, you have everything that you need here, right? Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Um, all the layout is this kind of layout is a little bit more common and people are more used to this but of course it doesn't matter it all depends on what you're going for and the layout that you want for your website and I think this is pretty good all right let's move on to the next part so I have my questions here on the other screen so I don't take too much time uh, let's add another here let's use the short text block I guess this is the block they call them blocks so I will say write your full oops full name and there's nothing else that we need to add here let's add another question which is going to be a multiple choice and say do you have a website and of course multiple choice and it's going to be yes or no easy peasy yes and no and also from here you can change the position of the questions as needed if you want i forgot what i think it was this yeah <laughs> so I think I'm going to make uh, almost all the questions required and this one is also required in my opinion. It's pretty important because you want to know who you're talking to uh, if you are going to communicate with this person. All right, so let's add um, another question which is going to be, actually it's not a question but it's a requirement, website, whoops address and let's move on to the next part which is pretty cool and we're gonna ask for um, the email address what is your email address the email address and now the fun part is that you can recall information that means that being said, you can recall another question. So in this case, you, we are going to recall the full name of the person because we already have it at the top. And it's like we are 
we have acknowledged their name we know their name and now we're going to communicate directly by using their name so what is your name john or whatever the person's name is and let's just delete this unnecessary and add a question mark so as you can see here we are going to have the name of the person filled in pretty cool right pretty neat and i am going to add another long text here not another but a long text here and i'm going to say tell us more about your project that is it very simple and now we're going to ask them about their budget so what is your budget and i forgot to mention that this is a slider so let's go back but this is a slider and you will see how this will work i mean you can actually already see it <laughs> it's very easy to understand and i think i forgot to turn on the required option for all but you get it you know what i mean so okay we are starting to so let's set a minimum amount we are going for 3000 and upwards let's say max all right so they can go up to 10000 from 3000 to 10000 so uh the step number here would be the amount that you increase the the step of the slider so let's say we want to increase it by 500 okay so from 3000 to 500 it jumps to uh, 3500 4000 and so on and so on right i think it, it's easier right because we're not selling potatoes we're saying selling projects here we're not increasing by 10 euro we're increasing by 500 that's just my thinking my logic all right so as you can see you have also these uh, marks where it shows you to increase until a certain mark and you can also customize this i have not figured out necessarily how to do this you can play around with it and see what's what okay i'm gonna leave it to yes and um increase it to re and uh, turn on the required and that's it and i think we're gonna add another one and say multiple choice again and uh say how did you, did you hear about us this is also very important in case uh, you're trying different marketing strategies to get leads. Uh, for example, you want to know if people have come from YouTube or from Google or from LinkedIn or whatever. And it's good for you to know where to focus your marketing. So let's say YouTube then we have instagram let's add linkedin and that's it whatever you get the drift here so this is right here okay and let's go back to our settings and let's go to our um, theme and let's add a logo to see what I'm talking about so it's a little bit primitive in terms of that so it's going to to look like this small but I think it's okay so I'm gonna save it I saved the theme so I am going to publish my form we could preview it if you'd like but I am going to go to publish and ah so we have not added any notification to this form to receive results let me know how so in order to receive notification that that somebody has submitted this form in the free version you can only add notification for email so let's say contact at studio .com. and then we're going to say form submission website you can call it whatever you want and that's it and allow notifications of course there is more to it i'm not gonna get into everything because this will take forever okay we have published our form so let's go and have a look 
all right this is something that we need to change um but all in all uh, i think this is pretty pretty cool so as you can see this is how our, how the form would look and this is how people would see it on the on your website obviously <laughs> it wouldn't look this huge um depending on how you have it implemented all right so one way you can choose between uh, these options is either hitting the key for example a if i hit a uh, on my keyboard i will have chosen web design so let's go with a as you can see and it goes automatically you can also do it by hand right let's go branding okay and then write your full name andrea Egli, and then hit ok then do you have a website and i'll say b and you know you get it okay i'm not gonna go through the whole thing as you can see this is something that we need to complete and i'm gonna say studio egli.com Press OK. What is your email address, Andrea Egli? As you can see, do you remember I said here that we are going to be communicating with the person that has completed our form with their name? We're going to start addressing them by their name. So, what is your email address, Andrea Egli? And I'm going to say, actually, I'm not going to say anything. Let's go further, further, oh, no. NA. Um, so, what is your budget? 5,000 okay like me uh, and now let's say C and submit and that's it and this form should be submitted and we should receive it by email and so now we need to go back to our forms and we have to uh, figure out how we can add this to our website so I had to deactivate my plugin that it was giving me a very nice oh, it's still active which is weird anyway and if you go to your form let's go back to the form and go all the way to integrations uh share this form so basically we want to share it and the way i want i like to do it or i did it is using the iframe so copy the iframe but you also have the option for short code i tried this it didn't really work properly for me and also you have a direct link that you can send to people if you want them to complete your form outside of your website so let's copy this let's see how that i actually did not even look to see what exactly happens all right i think this is pretty cool as well so you could have this outside of your um website can just send people to this uh, to complete this before they inquire further or you start working with them okay pretty cool and this one doesn't really work as you can see is a little bit wonky and I have no idea what is going on on this side I try to adjust it by inspecting to see uh, what is going on but for some reason I could not make it work for the life of me we can add it in a pop-up in uh, elementor and it's fine so and a qr code which is pretty cool if you want this to be um if you're i don't know doing a, a trade show and you want this to be embedded on a on your booth or something like that whatever that may be all right i think this is it and i hope that you have found this pretty interesting and really helpful if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time